What up everyone? Summer has officially arrived. CBS have revealed the full cast of Big Brother 23 and of course we're here to give our first reactions and analyse what to expect from the cast of Big Brother 23. So welcome to your Big Brother update. Right, before we get started, folks, if you are new around here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as hitting the like button and the bell icon to get notified every single time a brand new upload goes live on the channel. And if you guys want to hit me up on social media, I've got my handles for Twitter and Instagram right up there. Right, folks, without further ado, let's jump into the cast of Big Brother 23. These are the 16 people we are going to be watching on our TV screens uh, for the next three months, which is incredibly exciting in three months we will probably know these people inside out um and what their games will entail and see who's gonna obviously take the crown and become the 23rd winner of big brother so first off let's start off with Alyssa lopez now i will put the uh, the bio sort of like question and answer things on screen so we can read through them and then i'll give my reactions Okay, so Florida native Alyssa is a swimwear designer hoping to go from two pieces to half a million dollars richer. At 24 years old, she's making her first trip out of Sarasota out to the Big Brother house. Though she's been a BB superfan since the age of 11, she cites the hardest thing she'll face in the, in the game is putting on a fake smile. What is your strategy for winning the game? My strategy for winning the game is to win the very first head of household. I think the first head of household is the most important one. I would then be able to ally myself with powerful and physical and mental players, but I'd also try and make a final two alliance with someone outside of that. That way I can see the game from all angles. I think my social game is that is what will help me the most. I'm very outgoing, understanding and comforting. House guests will want to talk to me about their thoughts on other house guests and I will use that to my advantage by having a lot of people trust me. I won't speak my mind too much on weeks that I am not head of household but put ideas in their head to get rid of certain people I think would hurt my game just like Tyler played on season 20. And some fun facts about Alyssa. I was featured on a Hooters billboard and taxi top. That's Alyssa, not me. I have my bachelor's degree in broadcast production and I did gymnastics for 10 years. Now... I am liking Alyssa very, very much. If I, truth be told, as soon as I saw Alyssa's picture, I had a massive crush on her. So, I mean, there's no hiding that. You guys are going to see that over the next three months. Um, and I really like her bio as well. I think um, she seems like somebody who can work people very, very well. Somebody quite dangerous, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I think she's going to be an extremely song, uh, strong social player. So, okay. First thing I've got to pick up on is her saying that she wants to win head of household on week one. Very, very, very ballsy, but I respect the move because if you can say, you know, with conviction that you're going to go out there and win the first HOH, then, you know, it might pay off. I mean, look, I mean, Cody did it last year and then Cody won the whole thing. So, you know, Alyssa, if she gets HOH in week one, she might follow in Cody's footsteps. Who knows? But overall, I'm I'm really liking it. The fact that she was talking about how, you know, she knows to keep her mouth shut when she's not head of household is detrimental because there's so many people who go into the big brother house and start getting all mouthy when they aren't in a position of power and it comes to bite them in the ass and uh it doesn't look like Alyssa's gonna have that happen to her she knows what she's doing socially which is fantastic i'm she seems very aware so i really really like that a lot um and you know what i mean i wouldn't be surprised if she gets into a showman so don't want to sort of judge a book by its cover but um the typical sort of person who probably would is somebody who is probably a swimwear model young um and going in there like that but i'm not saying definitely i'm just going off stereotypes that, that could be me being slightly unfair there but i'm just saying it's a possibility i mean there's a possibility of anyone getting into a showman whilst you're in there but anyway i mean I mean, Alyssa overall, I think um, she seems very, very fantastic. But, you know, that could either backfire winning head of household on week one uh, or it could benefit her game massively. For Alyssa, I would say it's probably going to work very well because she does seem like an excellent social player. So winning head of household will be fantastic because people will gravitate towards her and she'll be able to... She'll set the dynamics of the house if she becomes HOH on week one. Somebody who could certainly do that and put herself in a fantastic position for the rest of the game. But overall, very happy to see Alyssa on the cast. Now, the second house guest we have to talk about is Aza Awazam. So I will get Aza's bio up on the screen and we can talk through what Aza is going to bring to the game. Okay, so Aza30 describes herself using three Cs, charismatic, crafty and clumsy. Though she loves to spend time in the kitchen, the Baltimore native is far from interested in cooking up a showmance with one of her fellow house guests. As someone with over 300 cousins, she's looking to become a big part, a big new part of the Big Brother family. What's your favourite duo in Big Brother history? My favourite Big Brother player, June, was part of a duo. Alison and June from BB4 dominated the house with loyalty only to each other. I hope to get a powerful partner in the house and sit with them in the final two. And some fun facts about Aza. My grandfather was a polygamist with six wives and 47 children. I have over 300 cousins. My name means able to make friends. 
avid traveler prior to COVID. I visited four countries per year. Okay, so even though we didn't get a how are you going to play the game section on this one, I still think it is his personality shone through, which is brilliant. And um, hearing her talk about June and Allison from BB4 fills me with joy because do you know what for so many years uh, there's people who come in the house and go oh i'm going to replicate tyler's game from bb20 i'm going to replicate derek's game from bb16 they might say ian's from bb14 but no one really ever goes further back than that so to hear somebody talk about big brother season four brilliant i am utterly just amazed and overjoyed about that which makes me like Aza quite a lot because june was the woman who invented the floating strategy allison was brilliant alongside her but june created the floating strategy that is something we talk about every single damn year on big brother so for someone who knows who created that strategy and can respect it and go i want to do something like that brilliant we could see another june song in this game so i'm very excited to see it as a player um and someone who travels as well definitely it will be a good communicator very good socially i can pick up on that um and someone with 300 cousins that's a big ass family so you know someone definitely who is used to uh definitely having a because people who are in you know often in big families you have to sort of battle to um sort of have your voice heard sometimes so i'm sure she will be no stranger to making sure that she her point is heard and her opinion is heard so that's 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 going to be great as well um again i would say is is going to be somebody to watch out for socially um i think you know especially if she's going to be replicating june songs game brilliant content can't wait to see her in the big brother house now, next up, we have Brent Champagne. Very interesting name there. Let's talk about Brent and his bio. So, Rhode Island resident Brent, 28, is a flight attendant, hoping his game will take off from the jump. Despite working in the air, he feels his personality and charm make him grounded enough to take on the social game. And though he's hoping for success, he admits his life's motto is, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Dear God. Um, so the favourite duo of Brent in Big Brother history is Tyler Crispin and Angela Rummins from BB20 I just like how they became a power couple inside and outside the Big Brother house hashtag showman's goals and some fun facts about Brent I am, I am a former D1AA college athlete uh, injury ended it before it really began I am a former live lottery television host for Rhode Island Lottery I created and have my own personal fishing website Okay, so my initial impressions of Brent. Um, hearing him say about, you know, what was it he said? Let me just check again. When he said, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. That just, to me, I can't dig that vibe. I find it extremely fake. And um, it's kind of just like, I can't explain it. I mean, I think a lot of you guys will, will vibe with me on that and agree with sort of someone saying that it's kind of just... It feels like there's no direction for his game, if that makes sense. It feels like you're going in the house and going like, yeah, yeah, it's, let's treat it like Love Island, not Big Brother. It's a social game. you got to have your eyes on the prize. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then, you know, each step will lead me to this. Going on like that is kind of... Yeah, it, it, it doesn't scream, I'm going to be a great Big Brother player. It kind of screams, I'm going to go in looking for a showman's. I have no doubt in my mind that Brent could end up in a showman's. You know, no offense to the guy. I mean, you know, it's it's not a. Listen, right. I'm not against showmances, but I prefer somebody who focuses on the game rather than getting in a showman's. That's kind of how I see it. He seems like a nice guy. He really does. You know, he seems like you know he's 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 a flight attendant. He's got his own fishing website, so he seems quite well made for himself. You know, I respect that a lot. You know, just to just as a, as a person but as a big brother player i don't know if we're going to be expecting too much but i would imagine he will win a lot of comps um and um, probably play quite aggressively i'm not casting like you know him out as as a potential winner yet but just somebody who says i'm here for a good time not a long time doesn't scream like someone who's got their eyes on the prize and is going to win big brother 23 so that's my impressions of brent Okay, now fourth up, we have Brittany D'Angelo. So let's talk about Brittany D'Angelo. I feel like that's how I pronounce it, Brittany D'Angelo. Okay, so kindergarten teacher Brittany, 24, is ready to hopefully school the competition on Big Brother. The Niagara Falls resident is, is an athlete at heart and admits she won't be throwing many competitions in the house. She's walking into the house with four core values from her martial arts training. Discipline, integrity, loyalty, and respect. Her favorite activities are dancing, karate, Softball, tennis, theatre, spending time with my family and friends, swimming, biking, running, fitness activities, playing Mario Kart and making TikToks. So some fun facts about Brittany. 
Um, in 2019, I won both the Niagara Medal, voted on by the members of the senior class and the individual who represents Niagara University the best, and the senior medal, valedictorian, perfect for four. 4.0 GPA and two degrees at Niagara University. I was the first individual in the 162 year history of the university to win both awards in the same year. My friends, family and doctors say that I dance, be dance better than I walk. I have sprained my right and left ankles 11 times a piece with 15 of those sprains coming from walking. I have a mini snow globe collection that I started when I was 10 years old. I currently own 173 snow globes. Now, I will say just for a second there, while she was talking about the injuries, I started thinking of Raven from Big Brother 19. But let's not go there. We're talking about Brittany, not Raven. Okay, so Brittany seems extremely athletic. That's my initial reaction of her. Very lively. I would imagine she's going to be quite loud, quite a loud house guest, quite a firecracker um, is what I'm guessing. But she seems intelligent as well. You know, when she talked about all that stuff from university. I mean, that's pretty amazing. When when you've got that plus the athletic sort of aspect going on as well, um, I'm I'm sure I'm sure she's going to do fantastic because as well I think you know the fact that she's immersed herself in university and all these sporting activities as well probably shows she's got a good social life as well. So I would imagine she's going to be the full package of athletics so she's got the physical game on lock, the mental game on lock, you know, strategy wise and socially as well she's definitely someone to watch out for somebody i'm looking at that's going okay she could be a threat to win the whole game and i don't say that lightly um it could either be that or it could be the case of oh damn britney's a massive threat let's get her out pre-jury so um lots and lots of exciting things uh, to think about there for britney's potential but overall I, i'm very very hyped to see what she's going to bring to the game she seems a lot of fun um yeah I'm, I'm kind of rooting for britney um she's not i wouldn't say she's like my favorite off the bat but definitely someone up there that i'm, uh, I'm very excited to see play our next house guest is Christy Valdeseri. Let's have a look at Christy's bio. So Christy is a professional dancer out of North Hollywood. The 27-year-old hopes to succeed on Big Brother by following her gut and being herself. She also plans to keep the secret of her hair loss in her pocket to deploy just at the right moment. So, who is your favourite duo in Big Brother history? I love Derek and Cody from season 16. I really appreciated how loyal they were to each other. And some fun facts about Christy. I've been vegan for 3.5 years and pescatarian for 10. I have 11 piercings and 5 of them I did myself. I started my own dance company called Diva Dance out of my parents' basement when I was 15. Now, dare I say I'm getting Raven vibes again with the dancing. What? I need to stop getting Raven vibes from BB19. Uh, BB so... Uh, overall, Christy, I would say somebody who um, is going to be an interesting house guest. Um, she's not screaming winner to me, if I'm going to be honest, straight away. Um, but I would say somebody who can probably go far. Um, being a dancer, she's going to be physically fit. Um, and yeah, I just um, and I think um, somebody who I think she could go far. I mean, I feel like there wasn't a lot to go off there. You know, I don't feel like there was a lot to sort of go. Okay, yeah, she's going to do this strategically or whatever. I would say physically is her strongest point so far the physical aspect of big brother she's probably going to win comps um, because she's because she's a dancer um i mean i would imagine she'd be i mean i know it's kind of a stereotype you know living in hollywood i would say probably going to be quite good socially as well i could be totally wrong there um but overall i would say physically is going to be her, her best aspect i liked how she she went down on Derek and i didn't phrase that correctly i like how she picked out Derek and cordy <laughs> Uh, I, I like how she picked out Derek and Cody from BB16 as um, as as her favourite house guest. I can't even believe I said that as a favourite house guest because uh, you know Derek obviously played an extremely strong game in 16 and although 22 wasn't an incredible season Cody did play a very dominant game so you've got to respect that she picked the, both of those um, but yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what Christy brings to the game so forget Christy now, we have Christiane, Christian Birkenberger. So, uh, and that sec surname's a mouthful. Uh, let's talk about Christian. So Christian is a general contractor assistant who is about to get to know the house in a whole new way. The 23-year-old believes his charm is his greatest weapon with a bucket hat and cologne that makes him irresistible in his arsenal. Able to ride a unicycle and do multiple flips, it remains to be seen if that balance and nimbleness can carry over into the game. So who's your favourite duo in Big Brother history? Zach and Frankie, aka Zanky from BB16. And my life's motto is, sometimes your ice pop falls on a penny. That doesn't sound weird at all. And what are some fun facts about yourself? My pupils are two different sizes. I've only had one girlfriend and my favourite food is chicken and waffles. So I think we've got a bit of an egotistical house guest here talking about his book of hat and cologne. Um, it's, you know, it's difficult because, I mean, like, 
I would say the first couple house guests that we discussed, you know, there was a lot to talk about from their bios. When someone's talking about that sort of thing, plus they can ride a unicycle, there's not much to go off game-wise. It's kind of frustrating when you don't see people talking about what they're going to bring to the game because they're not going to give him a unicycle. I mean, the mice, it's Big Brother we're talking about, expect the unexpected. But, I mean, like, I don't think a unicycle is going to get him to the final two or win the game. Um... You know, I mean, he see, maybe seems like a little bit of fun, maybe a bit of an entertaining house guest. Um, but strategic-wise, mental-wise, I don't know if he's going to bring much to the game. I would guess, you know, the whole unicycle thing again, physically he'll be strong. Um, it's it's it really is difficult to sort of go off what to expect from these people when they don't talk about it's when they don't talk about what they're going to bring to the game socially or what their strategy is. And with them choosing Zach and Frankie as their favourite house guests as well, definitely someone who appreciates the entertaining aspect of the game more so than um, somebody who plays the game hard. So if you come in and say, oh, my favourite's Derek or Dr. Will or Dan or Danielle Reyes um, or Vanessa, you're going to know that they appreciate playing the game hard. When they come in and go, oh, it's... uh, it's Zach and Frankie or, you know, someone like that, then you're probably going to know they appreciate the entertainment aspect more of the game. Uh, and whether they'll be able to replicate the entertainment aspect of the game, we'll have to wait and find out. Okay, so we've got two Derricks on this cast, and first up is Derek F, or, or well, surname Frazier. So let's talk about Derek Frazier. So Derek29 is hoping his job as a safety officer will allow him to find protection in the game. The Philadelphia native says his leadership skills will get people to do his dirty work. He can He's hoping he can bring the competitive spirit of his dad, famous boxer Smoke and Joe Frazier, that's what we're talking about, Smoke and Joe Frazier, to the game. Okay, so three words that describe you, loud, outgoing, and assertive. So, what are some fun facts about yourself? I can fall asleep sitting up or standing. I can lift a lot of weight. So, you can bench 315, deadlift 500, and back squat 520. I went viral on TikTok once for a video I didn't post. So, Derek seems like he's... Uh, yeah, I'm excited for Derek. You know, he's somewhat... I mean, smoking Joe Frazier. I mean, he's, he's related to a legendary boxer. I think that's awesome. And, you know, like he said at the beginning, this is what I'm talking about. This is what we want to hear in bios. Somebody talking about their job and saying what aspect of their job can they bring to the game so the fact he's a safety officer bang straight away bringing that assertiveness and controlling people and you know keeping the pack in line brilliant that's what we like to hear for a big brother player not somebody who can go i can ride a unicycle i can do we want to hear this this is the sort of stuff we want to hear so thank you derek frazier for bringing that i'm very excited to see derek um i've just got a feeling he's going to be extremely entertaining and funny uh very very entertaining in the diary room um yeah that's I've, I've only got positive things to say about derek here i'm just i'm quite impressed uh, about the the whole smoking joe frazier thing i think that's uh that's uh, just brilliant so I, I feel like you know he's going to be carrying on the spirit of his dad there and um you know carrying that legacy into the house and um I'm sure Derek's going to do great, so uh, can't wait to see Derek in the Big Brother 23 house. Now, our second Derek on the Big Brother cast is Derek Xiao, so let's talk about... Zer- I hope I'm pronouncing that surname correctly, Xiao, Xiao. Um, let's talk about Derek X, I guess we call him, because we've got Derek F and Derek X, so Derek X. Derek24 is a startup founder looking for $500,000 of seed money this summer. Currently in New York City, he created a business that ships meal kits created by food influencers. His strategy to win it all is to start by making relationships, then layer in unassailable logical reasoning to influence people's decisions. Okay, that was that was a that was a long-winded one there. Um, so, favorite activities. I've really been into chess and surfing recently. I've just spent a month in Hawaii and would surf every morning and then play chess on the beach. Growing up, I fell into the typical Asian stereotypes and played tennis and piano. My mum only cooked Chinese food growing up, so I started learning how to cook so I could make random food that I craved, like mac and cheese. Now I love cooking and trying new recipes. Uh, my least favorite activity would be cleaning the dishes afterwards, though. My life's motto is, if you laugh at yourself first, then everyone is just laughing with you. Ain't that the truth? And uh, what are some fun facts about yourself? I rented a city bag to compete in a triathlon in college and then crashed the bike. I was stung by a jellyfish in Thailand and then was later forced to eat the jellyfish. I took hip-hop dance classes in New York. Okay, so again, very much like Derek Frazier, I'm glad to see bringing a bit of entertainment to the game with a couple of funny remarks there as well as actual gameplay that's what we want to see thank you derek f and derek x this is brilliant news i think the derek's is somebody we're looking out for and i wouldn't be surprised if you know it's that classic thing where they walk in like i'm called derek i'm called derek as well let's work together we can be the two derek's that'll be an alliance that could be formed um 
And again, I think the personality types see, personality types seem very similar. They will mesh and gel very well. As I said, bit of gameplay, bit of entertainment as well. Both go very well together. Um, so yeah, I mean, Derek, you know, he was he talked deep there about how he was going to influence people, um, which is brilliant to hear. Like. I hate to go back to that unicycle thing. I know I'm making a big deal out of nothing there, but it's like when you see someone going like that versus someone like this who actually talks the game uh, and it's not in a big headed way. It's just, you know, this is going to be my strategy. It's brilliant to see. So again, Derek X is someone I'm very much looking forward to seeing in the Big Brother 23 house. Okay, so next up we have Brandon Frenchy French. So we've been known as Frenchy. Let's talk about Frenchy. Farmer Frenchy is used to roommates, but this time he'll be dealing with people rather than livestock and crops. Family is everything to this 34-year-old father, having lost his son in the past. He claims his only fear in life is his devil rooster, but we'll see if getting evicted is added to that list. So who's your favourite duo in Big Brother history? Definitely Brittany Haynes and Rachel's hair extensions. My life's motto is, you will always go through rocky times, but together we can crush those rocks into fine sand and we can create our own paradise. What are some fun facts about yourself? At 13, I won the NFL National Punt Pass and Kick Competition. I'm a proud member of the NAACP. I'm prior military. Now, word on the street, um, I didn't know this until, uh, you know, just until he was revealed as a house guest, was that um, Frenchie is actually known on Big Brother Twitter by a lot of people and he tweets about the live feeds every single season. So I've got a feeling that Frenchie is going to become a firm fan favourite very quickly. It's good to see that, uh, you know, production of casting people who know the game very well, people who care about the game, people who... When you watch, when, when you when you cast someone who watches the live feeds, they know the game inside out. You know, it's very different to just watching the episodes. You know, so I think it's uh, it's very good that we've got Frenchie on the cast. And again, it's nice to see. I, I say older, thirty four is old in Big Brother years, so it's very nice to see a bit of an older house guest. Um, that makes me very very happy. And um, you know. Somebody who knows the game inside out is going to be determined. They've got that passion more so than somebody who just rides a unicycle. I need to stop going on about that. Um, and you know he's gonna he's gonna bring the fire to the game and he's gonna to want to win. Um, it's every Big Brother fan's dream, you know, probably to win the game. So um, or, or one of their dreams to win the game. So I think Frenchie's definitely gonna try as, as hard as possible uh, to do so. So being a live feeder as well with Frenchie, you know, he's gonna know all the different types of personalities that he's gonna come across in there. And having watched many many seasons before. He is. Um, he's going to know how to deal with these people. He's going to know. Okay, this person's a bit like Tyler from BB20. This person's a bit like Mark from BB19. This person's a bit like Nicole from Big Brother 18. The, you know, he's going to be able to work these personality types and know how they work because he's seen so many seasons of Big Brother before and watched the live feeds. Frenchie definitely want to watch for Big Brother 23. Our next house guest is Hannah Chadda. So let's talk about Hannah. Graduate student Hannah describes herself as calculated, composed and versatile. Those are three words we love to hear when talking about Big Brother. The 21-year-old is looking to play two to three weeks ahead at a time, hoping that short-term plan will lead to a long-term success. She's hoping to capitalise on the full extent of her Big Brother dreams, including a perf include perfecting a blind side. Again, brilliant to hear. Um, what is your favourite duo in Big Brother history? My favourite, favourite, favourite friendship duo of all time is Dave Vaughan and Bailey because of how genuine, sincere and grounded their relationship was. You could really tell that they had each other's backs. I also want to give Paul and Victor a special shout out because they beasted their way through those competitions together. My life's motto is never give up all your information. What are some fun facts about yourself? I've always enjoyed school, especially science and math. I and I graduated from university at 19 years old. Wow. Uh, I'm a competitive hip hop dancer. My parents are from South Africa and India. So uh, Hannah is again somebody. I'm um, listen. It was a couple of a couple of house guests that that we had. You know, there was you know one after one after one was just a bit like, oh yeah, I'm here for a good time, bro. <laughs> Glad those are out the way now and we're getting house guests like this who are talking about planning three weeks in advance. That's something we don't usually hear. We usually hear, yeah, I want some more Instagram followers. This time Hannah is talking about, you know, um, wanting to actually make literal plans. That is fantastic. She wants to do a blindside. Again, for Big Brother viewers, bring it because there's nothing better than a, than a good old blindside on eviction night that we all wait for on a Thursday night. Um, so thank you, Hannah. I hope she can bring that to the table. Um and uh, just hearing her say stuff like, you know, she wants short-term plans that'll turn into long-term plans. It's brilliant because people often just go in the house and go, okay, I'm going to do this and this will hopefully get me to the end. She's literally talking about long-term plans and short-term plans. That's more than we get usually from a house guest. So thank you very much, Hannah. Can't wait to see you play. Kyland Young is the next house guest we'll be, we will be talking about. Let's take a look at Kyland's bio. 
Kyland will be turning 30 in a couple of weeks and he's hoping to commemorate the milestone year with a big brother win. I mean, that's epic if you can do that. Uh, the account executive is a movie buff, having seen, the be ha having seen every best picture film in the past two decades. He has a bracelet he is not taking off in five years that reads unrealistic. A reminder to him that being realistic is the most commonly travelled route to mediocrity. What are you most excited about living inside the Big Brother house? I'm most excited about playing the game of Big Brother. I don't care about being on TV and I often forget that about the fact that there is a cash prize for winning. When I think about Big Brother, I get excited about the competitions and the social strategy that can help you win. I have always been good at building relationships and being persuasive. However, to have those things gamified in a way that I can be ranked by how well I do it is like an injection to my competitive blood. I get goosebumps and a huge smile as I write this out and think about the Hunger Games like dynamic of building trust and alliances with people all while being aware there is only one winner and you will have to turn on each other at some point. What is your strategy for winning the game? My strategy is to combine the subtle influence of Derek with Cody's charm, dance strategic thinking and hold back on showing how good I am at competitions until I have to. Hopefully not needed until the end like Casey in season 20. That is a good combination of houseguests mine to go for there. I'm impressed by that. Um, I know that sounds like such a vague idealistic plan but I genuinely believe that I have each of those attributes and capabilities I am describing. What are some fun facts about yourself? I've done two firewalks across coal embers heated to more than a thousand Fahrenheit. I'm pretty sure I'm a Jedi. That reminds me of Howie from BB6 and 7. And any day I will be able to uh, move those objects using the force. Wow. Um, I use a fake police badge to skip all the lines at Comic-Con since it's the only place where you can legally pretend to be a cop. Kyland, can't wait to see you play. Oh my, just, I, I, I really enjoyed reading that. Amazing. Um, he is somebody who is out to win. He talked about Dan. He talked about Derek. He talked about Cody. He talked about Casey. All very strong players in their own way on Big Brother. Um, and combine those all together. Thank you, Kyle. And he's got a range of Big Brother knowledge. Brilliant. And also, I mean... It just it, it just seems like entertainment as well. This is what we want. We want entertainment as well as gameplay. And Kyland is going to bring that to the table. Um, the way he talked about being competitive as well, it wasn't in an obnoxious way. An obnoxious way where, you know, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be the person who wins all the comps. It was like he likes the idea of the Hunger Games and stuff like that. Just comparing it to stuff like that makes me go, yes, we've got a good house guest here. And I stand by that. Kyland is going to be an incredible house guest. Definitely one to watch out for for the crown for Big Brother 23. Our next house guest is Sarah Stegall. Stegall, I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, let's talk about Sarah. Okay, so... Sarah is a forensic scientist hoping that Big Brother success is in her DNA. Wow, I knew that was coming. That's brilliant. Um, the 27-year-old is planning to float and come across as a non-threatening non before hopefully taking control. And the hardest part of the game for her may be the house itself between cold temperatures and ant neighbours. What are you most excited about living inside the Big Brother house? I'm really looking forward to interacting with the cameras and venting in the diary room. What are some fun facts about yourself? I had a severe speech impediment and was unable to communicate clearly until I was 7 years old. I have a crippling phobia of moths and butterflies. I despise them and would kill them off if I could, regardless of the effects on the ecosystem. I really like to cosplay and uh, because of that I have become quite the seamstress. I can also style wigs, make jewellery and create prop armour slash weapons. Okay, so the immediate thing that's jumping out at me here is the fact she's a forensic scientist. That is an extremely... Um, intelligent uh, role that you can you know as, as a job I think uh, and it takes a lot of hard work to get there so she's no no stranger to a bit of hard work uh, old, old Sarah so I think uh, she's definitely going to be one to look out for and yes when she talked about you know interacting with the cameras um, it probably means she's going to be quite entertained on the feed it would be one of those things where it's split down the middle where we'll either find a really entertaining or extremely annoying I'd like to think the first um, Let's give her the benefit of the doubt, you know, there's always somebody who's great in the diary room and uh, Sarah could be that person this year. I mean, to be fair, judging from, you know, the people we've looked at so far, it seems like quite a few people could be good in the diary room this year. Um, and I think Sarah could be one of them. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how she gets on. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if she's somebody who could end up in arguments. She seems quite loud um, and loud people often end up in arguments in the Big Brother house. I say often, it's like 99% of the time. Um, so I would assume Sarah's probably going to be in an argument at some point. Um, but let's see how she does in Big Brother 23. Now for our oldest house guest this season at the age of 40, it's Tiffany Mitchell. 
So, phlebotomist Tiffany, 40, is prepared to get blood on her hands in Big Brother, considering that's part of her job. She is hoping to win the game for her son back home. She also has an alter ego that may come out. What are you most excited about living inside the Big Brother house? I am most excited to sleep in the HOH room. Oh, I like the confidence, and I actually might want to try slop. What is your strategy for winning the game? My strategy for winning the game is to learn as much as I can about everyone else and keep my mouth shut. What are some fun facts about yourself? I am obsessed with horoscopes. I love cats, especially mine, Tiger and Puma. I do voice impersonations of my friends and family. I like Tiffany, naturally, you guys, you know, you should know me by now. I always root for the oldest house guest, the oldest one in the house, um, because to me, the oldest ones usually um, are doing it for their family, and Tiffany's no exception here, so she, the oldest person is usually quite cutthroat. It's not often they'll win head of household, but when they do, there's no messing around. Excuse my language, you know, they don't take any shit, and they'll, uh, they'll get the job done, and Tiffany seems like she's going to be one of those people. She's doing it for her son. Um, she's going to be there to play. And uh, the fact she straight up said I'm excited about being in the HOH room, she has no qualms whatsoever about becoming the head of household. She knows she's going to do it. She's setting out, she's putting it out there, I'm going to become the HOH, I'm going to get into that HOH room, and yeah, I'm going to try some slop on the way as well. So Tiffany, I'm looking forward to seeing her play. Definitely someone uh, that's up there as one of my favourites for this season. Um, and it's tough for me to say she's going to make it far because... It's annoying, it sucks, it's social dynamics, but younger people tend to band together in the Big Brother house and go, oh, let's get the old person out. I really hope that's not the case. I would imagine Tiffany and Frenchie are going to have to band together because Frenchie's 34, as I think he's the second oldest house guest um, off the top of my head. Um, so Frenchie and Tiffany, I could imagine getting together and going, you know, we're the, we're the old fogies in this house and um, we're going to have to work together. And that's an alliance I want to see because Frenchie and Tiffany are two of my favourites this season. Um, I just naturally root for the older people usually. Obviously, I like Alyssa as well uh, from what I said at the start. But uh, Tiffany, definitely looking forward to seeing her play. I like the confidence. I like the drive. I like the determination. Let's go, Tiffany. Our next house guest is Travis Long. Let's talk about Travis. Travis, 22, is an Austin native currently living in Hawaii. The tech sales consultant, um, I'm pretty sure Brett was a tech uh, sales consultant as well from BB20, uh, considers himself a prank master and is excited to bring his bag of tricks into the house. He spear fishes for his dinner multiple times a week, so it should be a treat when his food is provided for him. Three words that describe you, rambunctious, curious and strong-willed. What is your favourite duo in Big Brother history? Ah, there we go, Brett and Winston. Um, what are some fun facts about yourself? I'm a published author with books sold on Amazon. I've st started multiple businesses since high school and have been sued by massive titans of industry. I'm not sure if that's something to, uh, to brag about. Uh, I have a wall full of sticky notes of quotes and nuggets of knowledge from friends and family and people I've met in my room. Okay, um, Travis, instant impressions. I'm thinking kind of... Brett Winston like I said at the start um, and kind of summed it up there when he said Brett slash Winston were his favourite duo um, personally I am not a fan at all of Brett and Winston don't hate the guys I'm just not a fan of them um, I find them quite obnoxious um, and instantly I'm thinking Travis and Brent Champagne are going to be two people that will get together and certainly become a duo um, it's that typical thing of Brett and Winston, Jack and Jackson not my vibe usually because it's kind of like they always end up in the majority alliance um, just because they're kind of the cool kids and uh, they end up getting kind of a free pass all the way through um, unless they, they are blindsided by the alliance as Brett and Winston were um, so you know you never know they might, you might be entertaining but to me this seems like a guy who should be on Survivor having to be a fishing uh, experience and stuff like that so um, we'll, see, we'll see how this one goes um, but yeah I think he's definitely going to be one of the bros and um I wouldn't be surprised again if he gets into a showmance. Um, I wish I had a megaphone where I could just say to them all, guys, this is Big Brother, not Love Island. Get the job done. Get the 500 Gs. Um, because I think often a showmance can make you lose uh, focus on what's really at stake here. And it's half a million dollars. Half a million dollars, folks. That's what you got to focus on. Um, I could be totally underestimating Travis here, but definitely someone um, going off previous years yeah, of Big Brother and typical what this sort of person ends up as definitely someone who's going to be one of the bros and uh, if there is a big alliance formed I would say that Travis is certainly going to be a part of it. Our second to last house guest is Whitney Williams. Let's talk about Whitney and her bio. 
Whitney, 30, is a makeup artist who believes she has the proper foundation for a good looking game. Wow, there's some good pun, pun work in there. Uh, the Portland native and mother hopes to take home the win for her sons. She calls herself an excellent matchmaker, which should come in handy when it comes to picking the right alliance partner. What is your favourite past moment on Big Brother? Watching Derek's gameplay has been the highlight of the show for me, also Dan's funeral, obviously. Uh, my life's motto is why not? Why not take that risk, try that thing, talk to that person? Life is too short to live with regret for not doing that thing you're considering doing. There's only one way to find out of what you're truly capable of, so why not? What are some fun facts about yourself? I was named after Whitney Houston, but I can't sing in real life. I wiggle my nose like a bunny. I develop my own Tillamook, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Tillamook ice cream flavour that you can actually buy in stores. Keep an eye out for white chocolate raspberry. Okay, so a little plug of the old ice cream there at the end. Can't beat the hustle. Um, okay, Whitney, I am pleasantly surprised. Um, you know, and this is, I'll put my hands up straight away and uh, and say, you know, I saw a cast photo and immediately assumed she'd be someone who is an influencer and, you know, I'm, I'm, I apologise for, for, um, for assuming that because it seems like she's got a lot more to her than that. She seems like a businesswoman who, um, you know, I've got nothing against influencers. It's just, you know, um, influ people who go into the house with only the aim of gaining followers is um, is not what we want to see as a house guest. We want to see people who play the game. Influencers, though, I think it's a great hustle. Go for it. You're earning your money. You know, whilst living your best life, fantastic. I've got nothing against influencers. I just don't like it when people prioritise getting followers over playing the game. But anyway, back to Whitney, who's clearly not an influencer. It doesn't look like that anyway. Um, I'm very excited to see her. She's hustling for her sons. That's brilliant. Again, family person. I love that. You know, it's going to be cutthroat when you are playing. Listen, you play for yourself, you can be quite selfish sometimes or even selfless and go, oh, I care about this person in the house. When you've got family back at home and that's what you're playing for, you become cutthroat. You've got drive, you've got determination. And um, Whitney, I think, is going to be one of those people. So being a businesswoman, you know, she that's cutthroat world, the business world, and uh, doing it for a family as well, definitely someone to watch out for. Can't wait to see Whitney play. Now, our last house guest of Big Brother 23 is Xavier Prather. Let's talk about Xavier. Attorney Xavier is excited to hopefully make a winning case for his Big Brother game come September. The 27 year old is adamant on not bringing personal feelings into his strategic decisions. I love to hear that. He's most excited to check out the decor of the Big Brother house and even, and its very surprised guest, even Zingbot. Uh, what is your favourite past moment on Big Brother? Brittany Haynes' goodbye message to Boogie after his eviction on BB14 or Danielle Ray. Finally, yes, sorry, stop for a moment of celebration. Somebody has mentioned Danielle Ray's. Thank you, Xavier. Brilliant news. Our Danielle Ray's impressions of her BB3 house guest. Both equally hilarious. My life's motto is make your own look. What are some fun facts about yourself? I have 10 siblings. I was born with a severe club foot and had to learn to walk in a cast. I'm not a fan of coffee. I am Xavier, so you need to start drinking coffee. Um, I actually made it through all of law school without even so much as a single shot of espresso. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say Xavier is somebody who could win the game. Boom, I said it. That combination of talking about Danielle Ray's law school, being an attorney, and, um, you know, it's, he just seems like he's got a knowledge of the game. And the fact that he said he's not going to let personal feelings um, come into the way of making those game decisions, bang, that's got winner written all over him. Um, I'm, oh, God, I'm so happy to see some house guests this year who are really here to play. It just makes me incredibly excited. Um, I really don't want to see people just going, oh, we're going to vote with the house this time. When you see somebody talk about Danielle Reyes, that's not somebody who's going to vote with the House. That's somebody who's going to rally the troops and get the job done when they need to, or whatever they need to do, they're going to try and get the job done. Fantastic to hear. When I think of you know someone talking about an attorney, I think of uh, somebody who knows how to make decisions under pressure, somebody who is quick thinking and you know when their back's up against the wall, they can come up with a brand new point straight away. I'm thinking of... Um, I'm trying to think of the lead character's name off uh, How to Get Away with Murder, that series. Um... My mind is totally blanking right now, but the lead character on that... Um, oh, what, somebody tell me in the comments if you can remember her name. I'll remember it as soon as I finish filming this clip. Um, but she is, you know, an incredibly uh, intelligent character on that show. And just, it really sort of showcases what it's like working in law and being an attorney. Um, so I think going with that vibe, it's really annoying me right now that I can't think of her name. Uh, oh, Anna, it's Anna something. Anna... Anna... <laughs> I'm blanking. Viola Davis's character. Somebody tell me in the comments. Um, so yeah, I'm just very, very excited um, to see Xavier play. Somebody who's going to bring the heat, bring the game, and try and win that 500 Gs. Let's go, Xavier.
That is your lot, folks. That is every single one of your Big Brother updates for today. I really appreciate you all watching, and I hope you are all just as excited as I am for getting the season started now. It's less than a week away, folks. Less than a week. I cannot wait to get live feed updates started and watching the live feeds roll on. So I think summer's officially started now. Now that we've got the cast, it's just going to get fun. I'm sure we'll get interviews as the week goes on. We're going to have so much more to talk about, guys. But I've given my opinions. Now it's time for your opinions. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, have you got any favourites? Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to be loud and get into arguments? Who do you think is going to be the first boot? Who do you think is going to be strategically good? Who do you think is going to be the entertaining one? Just I want to hear your opinions, folks. So drop them in the comment section below. I'd love to have a conversation with you all about that. But again, thank you so so much for watching, folks. I really appreciate all of your support um, in the pre-season. You know, like I said, less than a week away now let's go i'm very very excited but folks in the meantime please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe do all of that stuff but until your next uh, big brother update i've been your host tom vasey good night